okay today we are going to be making a roof plan from this floor plan which we have here we're going to make our top elevation we're going to make our north south east and west elevations of this uh of of a roof using this floor plan so let's get started so we're going to trace this entire floor plan using a polyline so go on polyline and we can start tracing our floor plan using a polyline so you need to trace the the entire floor plan we trace the entire floor plan like that okay press on enter then select this polyline and go on move you can select any point then you can just move it here like that then go on offset we're going to offset at a distance of 500 press on enter then select this line we offset outside press on escape select this line and delete then go on offset again this time we're going to uh specify offset distance of through so just type in t press on enter like that after you have done that you can make any distance that you like so you can do that you can make any type of distance you you want you can make any type of distance which you you want so keep on offsetting like that until you remain with a a box like that then press on enter so after i've done this after i've done this the next thing you are going to do is connect these boxes here with a line so go online and start connecting all these press on enter enter again you connect all these well you can you can see there is a box you can connect with a line you need to connect all these Turn on the all these you connect all the, the boxes together. Keep on connecting. I think we have connected our boxes all right let's continue with this one i don't know why up to there like that all right then after i've done that type in fillet type in f like okay so f then go on multiple then you can connect this line and that line this line and that line 
this line and that line this line and that line this line and that line this line and that line this line and that line this line and that line this line and that line okay then this line and that line yes okay press on escape then go on line now let's start connecting these lines this line there enter i'm going to connect enter again we're going to use this line turn that on like that enter enter again like that okay after i've done that you can make a line here again And make a line there and there can make a line there and there skip then go on fill it so type in f enter multiple go on multiple there then select this line and this line this line and and that line then this line and okay and just do this go on line then then just connect this line to that line there like that after i've done this you can now delete all these lines that you were offsetting so again delete select these lines select all these lines select them all select all the lines like that then press on delete so this is how your roof is going to look like so after i've done this go on here you select boundaries here on your boundaries you are going to put in the island detection you have to to check that box then you're going to be using the polyline that here, the polyline then here on boundary sets are going to use current view port then go on okay so you select all these faces now select all the faces and press on and so what we have done here is we have made these faces to be individually so when you click here this face is just alone and that one alone you have separated your 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 faces like that so after i've done that we are going to go on offset now so go on offset then we're going to go on offset there then we're going to be offsetting this at a distance of 100 we're going to see press on enter so what we are going to be offsetting is are uh, these faces now so you offset inwards we offset inwards You offset everything inwards. Like 
right so we have offset everything after i've done this you can enter after i've done this you can make a line down here so go online make a line here right press on enter then we're going to it's too far delete this want it to be a little bit closer make a line here like that press on enter and then you are going to select this face here then go on copy selection you are going to specify the base pointers there then you can just bring it down like that press on enter we are going to select this one again copy selection specify the base point bring it down there enter i'm going to select this one again copy selection specify the base point down there press on enter after i've done that you can type you can go on offset you see offsetting at a distance of 100 so press on enter then you're going to be offsetting outwards now outwards you offset all these outwards like that after i've done that press on escape and delete this line like that so you have made your south elevation let's make these other elevations as well so go online let's make this here and just go there click copy selection let's find the base point to there there like that press on enter go on offset the fire distance of 100 like that select this then outwards like that enter here we have this one as well select that copy selection specify the base point then i'm going to move it down there like that then press on escape i mean enter after i've done that you're going to offset this as well so go on offset press on enter offset like that escape Okay, these are the only ones here. Then you can select this line and delete that line. You can make, you can do the same thing here. You can go there on line. Make a line there. Line there like that. You can copy this selection. Copy the selection, specify the base point. There like that escape select this one copy selection to select the base point okay we can go here again copy this selection let's find the base point and bring it down there press on enter like that we have this one here as well copy selection let's find the best point then there like that enter so that was the last one then you can go on offset same distance of 100 going to zoom in you offset this outwards like that and escape select this line and delete go on line again let's make our last last one there you're going to select this copy selection let's find the base point there enter enter for the previous command and you select this 
copy selection base point there like that escape after that you can go on this one copy selection specify the base point there like that escape then you can start after i've done that you can go on offset distance of 100 press enter offset this outwards 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 escape delete so after this is done you can see you have made your your roof plan and the elevations so what we are going to do next is we are going to start hatching we are going to go on hatch so let's go here then select hatch like that then select solid solid then here you can change your color change your color to any that you want you can change to green then here you can start selecting like this and select these faces like that And select all these faces okay and press on enter so we have selected all our faces and we have made our roof but this roof is too plain I am going to just select the type of roof that I want so I'll go there and go on hatch edit and here the solid okay i'll change this go on ios okay here and then i'll just select this one i think i'll go with this one then i'll go on okay then i can just change here the scale I can change the scale maybe to 50 okay, okay. like that i'll change just the scale on to 50 then i'll go on okay yeah this is much uh, this is much better so this is my roof this is how how you can make your your roof thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this helpful have a good day